The antibody cocktail used to treat President Trump is getting a lot of attention on social media. Some users are claiming that Regeneron, the company that developed the treatment, used human embryonic stem cells to create it. But is it true? News 8's Kelly Hesedal looked into the claim and has more in this Verify report. Well, President Trump has made it clear he's pro-life, so this claim regarding human embryonic stem cells is creating a lot of buzz on social media. The posts are circulating on Twitter. Claims that the antibody cocktail used to treat President Donald Trump was developed using human embryonic stem cells. Is it true? Our sources, Regeneron, the company that developed the antibody cocktail and published science reports. According to the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the antibody cocktail used to treat the president is made of, quote, one antibody comes from a human who had recovered from a SARS-CoV-2 infection. The other antibody is from a mouse, which was engineered to have a human immune system that had the spike protein injected into it. So where did that claim about human embryonic stem cells come from? Well, it seems to have generated from this statement the company issued back in April. It reads in part, quote, Regeneron uses a wide variety of research tools and technologies to help discover and develop new therapeutics. Stem cells are one such tool. The stem cells most commonly used at Regeneron are mouse embryonic stem cells and human blood stem cells. A spokesperson for Regeneron declined our request for an interview, but in a statement told us this regarding the president's antibody treatment. This particular discovery program, REGNCOV2, did not involve human stem cells or embryonic stem cells. She also tells News 8 the statement on their website reflects the company's general position on stem cell use, but doesn't mean that stem cells were actually used in creating that antibody cocktail. Nevertheless, some say the company's position on using stem cells in general contradicts the president's pro-life stance and that of Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett. But the bottom line, were human embryonic stem cells used in Regeneron's antibody cocktail to treat the president? The answer is no. And if you would like us to verify something, just send us an email at verify at kfmb.com. Barbara Lee. All right, Kelly, thank you.